very warm welcome to our biology class dear students we are going to start with a new chapter cell the unit of life this is one of the very important chapter for neat as well as theory purpose every year questions are used to comes in the neat exam from the cell the unit of life before going into the through the syllabus first let us have a look on history how the discovery of the cell has occurred okay dear students right now if you observe the nature you will find that there are the certain living and non living things yes or not because you are able to differentiate living organisms from the non living things and probably you all of you know that living organisms are made up of the cell but before 16th century scientists were not know how the living organisms are made up of they really become and wondered by looking at the nature there are certain living things are there certain non living things are there then they started to ask one of the question what is there in the living organisms which is making them to survive and the thing which is there in the living and the, that is not there in the non living what is that that of the scientific thought is came into the mind of scientist and they started to understand what exactly there in the living organisms that is what the way how the discovery of the cell has begun and it happened in the year of 1665 one of the scientist robert hooke actually he was designing his own microscope whenever he completely designed his microscope then he thought that let me observe something under the microscope then he found in his lab one of the bottle with a cork here there is a cork that cork is wooden piece it is a dead tissue of a plant then what he has made he just made the thin section of that cork and started to observe under the microscope do you know that how it appears it is appears like the honey comb like structure he really become wondered i am observing the plant tissue under the microscope and it was appearing like the honey comb he found that there are the several hexagonal compartment like structures in that tissue and he called this every compartment as a celluli celluli exactly it mean by the compartments only there is a cell wall made compartments are there whatever the margin you are observing this is exactly the cell wall only because it is a dead cell inside it actually cell was there whenever that tissue was surviving and after that once that plant part is disconnected from the plant the cells inside it all of them they are dead that's why only the cell wall is remains over here and he called these compartments later on as a cell that is what the way how he discovered the cell for the first time but whatever the cell he discovered that cell was a dead cell and afterwards even he comes to know that whatever the plant piece or the tissue he has observed under the microscope that was from the plant called as an caricus dear students everything whatever the discovery the robert hook has done it is all published in his book called micrographia that is what the way how the cell has discovered and now we are learning the cell in a very detailed way we have a very huge knowledge related to the cell but this is what the way how the cell has discovered for the first time and study of entire cell is called as cytology and cytology is a branch of biology it is first begin by the robert hook only by discovering the dead cell that's why robert hook was even called as an father of cytology then every scientist are started to observe 
uh, cell they started to find out something related to the cell then within a short period just after a few years only one more scientist his anthen van levenhoek in the year of 1674 even he was designing his own microscope you can look at that how the different microscope he has designed it have a lens it have a sample holder focal knob is there so this is what the way how he has designed the microscope in the year of 1674 and even he was observing certain things under it do you know that what he has observing probably he as observing the sewage water because of that he found amoeba in the living state for the first time he observed the euglena like organisms he observed paramecium like organisms paramecium amoeba euglena that type the organisms he has observed and even he found number of living bacteria in that water that is what the way how he observed different living organisms all of them he has observed in a live condition therefore the credit of discovery of the live cell or living cell is goes to him robert hooke has observed cell for the first time but that was a dead cell and then van levenhoek was observed the living cell for the first time in the year of 1674 within a few years only but later on several scientists are started to discover something related to the cell but by that time microscopes are not so good we are unable to make any higher magnifications therefore scientists are unable to observe anything more than this for the several years because of that we used to see that one more scientist in the year of 1831 you can see that what huge gap is there robert brown in the year of 1831 he observed nucleus he discovered the nucleus for the first time this is what the way how the discovery of the cell has occurred this is what the way how the story of cell discovery has begin yes let us conclude whatever the uh, things we have studied right now in the year of 1665 robert hook has discovered dead cell in the year of 1674 anthen van levenhoek has observed living cell and in the year of 1831 robert brown has discovered nucleus these are the scientist name you must remember when the discovery has occurred that particular year you must remember and even what they have discovered that also you must remember these are all the very important points for neat exam in addition to that try to remember two more scientist one is dujardin he was actually found the fluid inside the cell in the year of 1836 and he called that fluid as a sar code what is that sar code now we know it very well in the name of cytoplasm it is present in between the nuclear wall and as well as the plasma membrane but it was first discovered by dujardin in the year of 1836 and later on one more scientist perkinje in the year of 1839 even he observed the fluid inside the cell in a different cell then he called it as a protoplasm a living part of cell that what he called it as a protoplasm this is what the way how the cell has discovered later on microscopes have started to evolve more and more whenever the electron microscope has evolved for the first time then so many things related to the cell were discovered yes quickly we'll just go through the ncert book 
let us know that what exactly given in the ncrt book because it is very important one students questions are used to comes from the ncrt book that's why we must know what exactly they have given in the ncrt book yes let us even read it out what exactly they have given what they are saying when you look around you will see living and non-living things that i that what i have told you and by looking at that nature you are probably becoming and wondered and asking the question yourself what is it that makes an living organisms living or what is it that inanimate the things does not have which a living things has that are the questions you may ask by looking at the nature but we know the answer right now the answer to this is the presence of a basic unit of life a cell in all the organisms but it was not known during the 16th century now we know it very well students all living organisms are composed by the cell some are made up of the single cell they are called as an unicellular organisms and while some other are including us also we are all made by the many cells so we are called as an multicellular organisms is yes, what is given next to next in the paragraph what is a cell what they are saying unicellular organisms are capable to ca carry independent existence they can able to survive and even they can able to perform all life essential functions like digestion absorption secretion excretion respiration reproduction all that of the life essential functions that independent living organisms are also can able to perform because they are the complete cells if anything less in that complete cell does not ensures the independent life hence we say cell is the functional fundamental structural and functional unit of living organisms then the question comes sir suppose one of the person has become dead if the person has become dead means immediately the cells gone inside his body no cells are there then if the cells are there if the cells are the fun functional fundamental structural unit and even they are there in the dead person then why he has become dead then yes or not that of the question comes into our mind or not yes surely we are going to get that of the question then do you mean that the cell is not really the one which is making them to survive yes 100% cell is the basic and functional structural unit of life but inside it there are so many other biochemical reactions are used to occur that makes the cell to become survive yes what whose uh, scientist name has mentioned in the ncrt book and then when levin hope first saw and described a live cell but before him i have told you one more scientist name his robert hook in the year of 1665 he discovered dead cell then in the year of 1831 robert brown discovered a nucleus and later on then later on the invention of a microscope and its improvement leads into the electron microscope revealed all structural details of cell this is what they have mentioned in the ncrt book i hope so students up to this particular paragraph you are all become very much clear remember all these scientist name these are all very important for the neat purpose even in some other competitive exams also they used to ask the scientist name who discovered the living cell for the first time who discovered the cell for the first time who discovered nucleus these are the questions frequently used to appear in the other competitive exams also 
thank you students i hope today's class you are all enjoyed you are all able to remember the scientist name thank you uh, in the next class we are going to continue with the further remaining syllabus please like subscribe and share our channel thank you once again